In the continuation of our Android touchscreen car player series, this video demonstrates how to install, set up, and use an ESVIS camera directly on your car player. We'll guide you through the steps to seamlessly integrate the camera, allowing you to view live footage and monitor your surroundings right from your car's display. To get started, open the Play Store on your car's touchscreen player and search for the ESVIS app. Once found, tap to download and install. The process should take a few minutes depending on your internet speed, so please be patient. Note, for this demonstration, we tested the setup on a 9-inch Android player with Android 13 OS, 4GB RAM, and 32GB ROM. Your experience may vary slightly depending on your device specifications. Once the installation is complete, you can open the ESVIS app right away. The app icon will also be placed on your player screen for easy access later. When opening the app for the first time, you may be prompted to grant permissions, such as access to your storage for photos and media. Be sure to allow these permissions to ensure the app functions properly. During setup, you'll be prompted to select your region. It's important to choose the same region that was configured in your mobile ESVIS app. This ensures that your car player and mobile app are synced properly, allowing for smooth communication and real-time access to your camera feeds. Now, you will see the login option. You can choose to log in using either your email address or mobile number, depending on how you sign into the mobile ESVIS app. To switch between login methods, simply tap the phone icon to use your mobile number or select the email option to log in with your email address. Once you've successfully logged into your ESVIS account, a list of all the cameras associated with your account will appear on the screen. You can choose to skip the notification or introduction screen if you prefer. Here, you can tap on the camera you wish to view in real time. Once you select the desired camera, the app will initiate a live stream, allowing you to monitor the camera feed directly on your Android touchscreen car player. If you have multiple cameras set up, you'll see a list of all your connected devices. Simply choose the one you want to watch, and the video will begin loading shortly. The app may also provide options to adjust settings such as resolution, playback, and notifications related to the camera you are viewing, enhancing your overall experience. Additionally, if your camera is equipped with pan and tilt PTZ, features, you can control these functions directly from your car player. To do this, simply tap on the PTZ icon within the ESVIS app. This will bring up the PTZ controller interface, allowing you to adjust the camera's position with precision. You can use on-screen controls to pan, move left or right, and tilt, move up or down, the camera, providing you with a full view of the surrounding area. This feature is especially useful for monitoring larger spaces or specific areas of interest, ensuring you have complete control over your camera's perspective while on the go. You'll also have access to all the other features available in the mobile ESVIS app, allowing you to fully utilize your camera's capabilities right from your car player. This means you can explore and try out various functionalities according to your preferences. To access your camera recordings in live view, look for the clock icon in the bottom right corner. Tapping this icon reveals playback features categorized into cloud storage and local SD card storage. Choose the appropriate option based on your camera's configuration. Selecting cloud storage lets you access online recordings, while local SD card storage allows viewing recordings saved on an SD card. You can filter recordings by specific dates to find the footage you need. In this demonstration, the camera hasn't been configured with storage, so we can't showcase this feature now. Stay tuned for upcoming videos for more details on storage setup and playback features for your ESVIS camera. Note, if you encounter an issue where you're unable to exit the app normally, you can return to the home screen and force close the app. This method ensures that the app is completely shut down, allowing you to reopen it without any glitches. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting us by subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us create more content and brings you the latest updates. Thank you.